Hello, welcome back to Coding Casually. And in this video, what we would be focusing on, we would be making a login uh, automation using Selenium. Selenium is a module which is available to uh, people who are using JavaScript or like individually as well. So this is usually used for uh, testing, but uh, most of the people right now in corporate, I've seen people are using it for automations, like for login, for pulling the reports out and whatnot. So what we would be doing in this video, we will cover a very small uh, project. On this one, I'll showcase how it would work. So I already have um, the um, basically the coding done and you would see what it does is it opens up uh, the Google for us, uh, pulls in the LinkedIn login page and gives me that page and tries to log in. So what this is something that we'd be creating, uh, but we would be creating it from the scratch. So uh, moving on, this is the new page on um, basically a new file altogether that we have. Let's close this up. And before you continue ahead, I'm, you need to make sure that you have Selenium installed. So for that, what you can write is you can write CMD, write pip install Selenium, and then uh, if you find this, so that means it's already installed, or if you don't find this, that means the system will install it for you. The next thing you would need is a Chrome driver. So for the Chrome driver, what you can do is you can go into the Google and try writing Chrome driver altogether. And then the moment you write it, uh, go into this. And then in accordance to what you have as a version of Chrome, you can download the Chrome driver for yourself. So what, how you can check it, you can go into your Chrome, go into help, and then about Google Chrome, and you'll get to know what is the version that you're using. All right, uh, moving back to our Visual Studio code. Uh, so the coding for the same will be very simple. What we would be writing is from Selenium. Uh, and then uh, you can write from Selenium import web driver. Uh, spelling got change okay selenium from selenium you would be importing a web driver and then or other yes and what you would be doing is from selenium itself you would be importing another thing as well from selenium dot web driver you would be importing common dot keys so that you can uh, push in the words that you wish to write using the keys method okay and we would also be importing time for the timing let's see whether we would be able to use it or not we would be basically using it for a space or basically a time that we would need to give the program to wait and then click the other link or the button altogether so as i said uh, coding is very easy you need to give driver uh, uh, basically where your chrome driver resides on your system so you can write chrome and then give it a location that is something that we would need. Um, how you can find the location? Already I have it on my system, so I'll just copy and paste it under this. But you have to make sure that you have uh, raw in stated altogether, or else you will face a problem or you have to invert the uh, slash. So if you wish to avoid it, you can simply use R and that would help you further. And now what you need to do is you need to log into Google, of course, so you can write get. And then you have to provide the link that you wish to hop on to. We would be writing http-google.com. This is the site that we wish to hop on to and then a forward slash. Through this, we would be going on to Google. And after that, uh, just because it would not open in the maximize window, we would write maximize and then it will maximize it for us and then it's all about finding the element by name so we would be writing driver dot find element by name okay and we would be writing q here okay, that's what we want to find and then we would be sending keys in it and we would be writing linkedin login and then we would be copying and paste and then we would be pasting it here but now we would be not writing anything we need to press enter so how we can do it we can write keys dot enter so this is basically imitating how you would press enter button and then what we would be doing we would be finding a partial link we'll be writing driver 
dot find element by partial link okay so uh, login page uh, usually has login word in it so we would write login and then we would click that part okay so the moment you are on uh, what you need to do is you need to write another one which is di driver dot find element by id and then the moment you press id you need to write username and then you have to press send keys and then your username written um, you can write anything basically this is the place where you would be writing your password but still I'm giving I would not be giving you my password in login for sure <laughs> and now writing password here and then what you need to do is you need to um, press the submit button so again find element by ID or other tag name would work here and then a button is something that you need to find on the login page and it will press it for you and then we will be writing click and then we'll wait for five seconds and then we will print that driver dot title and then we would be going with print driver dot current URL and then we will close the driver okay this is how the script will be made so what I will do it right now is that I'll go into Google for you and write LinkedIn login so that I can explain what exactly has happened so I'll write Google and the moment I am on it I will write LinkedIn login so this is something that we are doing here so we are going on Google finding the search bar writing LinkedIn login the moment I'll press this it will give me the links and you would see that enter has also been pressed so that means we were on the Google home page and pressed enter and we landed on this page so what's next we are doing is we are trying to find a link basically in which login is written so you would find uh, this is the sign up uh, please uh, look at the bottom left of the screen so this says sign up this is not something I'm looking for we are looking for this page so basically login is there in the URL so the moment that is done which is basically partial uh, link text that it will be found it the uh, automation will open this thing up and then for this uh, bars what you can do is you can write on your uh, basically you can press on your system control shift I and you will see that this is username as an ID that we are trying to write which is this one and similarly for password you will find this which we wrote like this and then for button uh, you would find that this is a button tag so of course we would be pressing this one and then it sleeps let's run this code and see whether it works for us or not um, you press F5 and see it says that there is something wrong and I tell you what exactly wrong there is so if would be going back on my system so this is the one but we have to write this as well so what you would be doing is that this is not full one we would be writing dot exe and now let's run whether it works or not and it has opened the driver for us maximized found LinkedIn learning uh, opening up the page for us username written and password is written and then it will close itself eventually and you would see that uh, the print statements have also worked here so this is how you make a simple automation using selenium as i said that the selenium is a module which is used for uh, testing basically the scripts on the web applications or the websites and everything but there are no rules you can use it for automations if you're in corporate you wish to pull out the reports so you wish to test something that's up to you if you have any ambiguity please comment below I'll try to make a video on it or I'll try to uh, solve for it if you think that this video has a little value as well please share the video amongst your peers and subscribe to the channel help us uh, thank you thank you very much